Well, hello my friend, my name is Attila and this is Master Piece. So today's project is a weird one. Basically all of my projects are weird. But in this one I'm trying to learn the new techniques. And this is a very difficult project. And I cannot show you everything. Because I have 16 hours of footage for this one. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned. Sawdust everywhere! Mustard piece. So if you don't know how I get these very smooth cuts, can you see the light is reflecting on it? That because it is so smooth. So basically I am kind of just riding the bevel and just do a tiny cut. So basically what I am doing is just polishing the wood with the bevel. That's why it is so smooth and that's why it is so shiny that's the only secret
sending. So we have a cup that seems to be in full working condition and now we are going to mess it up real bad with this thing so the idea would be to make it uh, I don't know to be honest uh, I'm just going to create some noise with this and I just zip 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 and we will see I never done anything like this, so don't look at me like that. Let's try that. Okay. That was a mistake. serious change of plans basically I just had an idea halfway through and uh, that idea is better what I am trying to do right now so whatever I messed up with the sending bit I already fixed it off camera so basically I'll show you so the piece is looking exactly as it was before whenever I had a tiny bit of imperfection I just used CA glue so the plan is to make a jewelry box out of it a jewelry box that can open with a hinge So let me show you a neat trick. How do you get a profile like this into an another piece of wood? See, even if I have a hole, I don't know if the tip is touching or not, because it's, it's just covering my view. So what you can do is, you get a tool like this. Let me show you what it does. You might already know this, but you set the tool down like this you grab the piece that you want to copy and you just push into it like this make sure everywhere it touches a little bit more Now I can lock the tool and now I have a perfect negative profile of that piece. Does it solve your problem? No. Does it make your life easier? Yeah, it will. But you still have to be able to use your chisel perfectly, so it's not easy.
So I have this shape printed. It's kind of like a flyer. And we are going to glue this one here and I will start to carve it. Yeah, black on black might not be the best idea, but the design was black, so I mean I could have changed it, but I didn't. Anyway, let's do it. Let's start with this dental style bit. So I'm getting there. Now what I want to do, so it's like going inward so the whole shape will be three dimensional there will be a movement in it here is the finished piece so it, it fit perfectly but now it doesn't because I broke it unfortunately and I glued it together glued it back together and now it doesn't doesn't fit as well as it was before so I have a new design and this is going to be part of the base So this is going to be the bottom part of the hinge.
a little bit of update I already glued up most part I don't I cannot show you everything because otherwise the video will be like two hours long so basically these this glue up was easy I just uh, carved some space some holes in it pushed it in this glue up was a little bit more difficult but here is the end result and now I am going to glue this globe into this very weird shape base and it's probably going to be the most difficult of all and uh, I'm not going to record it because it might take it might take a while before I can figure it out so what I normally do I just add a little bit of glue literally just a tiny one so if something wrong I still can break it but yeah so you next time you are going to see the finished product Mustard piece. Thank you, bye.